To place our tool on center height, we're first going to put the tool on the tool post and turn the handle to secure it. With this style of tool post, to adjust the tool up or down, we turn the screw. Next, we're going to loosen the tool post, rotate it so it's facing the tailstock. We'll then place our tailstock live center into the tailstock. Bring the tool and the tailstock close to each other. And by eye, we'll eyeball up the tip of the tool to the exact center of the tool post. When eyeballing up to see if your tool is on center with the tailstock, bend right down and get your eye level with the part. Again, if your tool's low, loosen off the clamp of the tool post, turn the screw to lower the tool, reclamp and recheck. If the tool's above center, loosen it off, turn the screw, raise the tool, reclamp and recheck. When locking your tool post, you want to make sure that the edge of the tool isn't going to rub along the edge of the part. So we're going to put it at about a 5 or 10 degree angle to make sure that just the tip is cutting the part. We don't want too much angle because we want to be able to end face and turn down the diameter. We can also check if the tool is on center height using an old pocket ruler. To do this, we're going to move the tool so I can bring it gently in against the diameter of the workpiece. Place the ruler between the workpiece and the tool and slowly move it in until it snugs up. If the ruler is vertical, then your tool is on center height. However, if the ruler is leaning towards you above the part, then the tool is below center height. And if the top of the ruler is leaning away from you, then the tip of the tool is below the center height and can be adjusted accordingly.